This is the second of two videos about the proposed James Dunlan Extension, a massive road project in Pittsburgh, California. The site plan shows the route of the proposed James Dunlan Extension from the approved Sino Sky Ranch 2 development on the east, stretching 1.71 miles across the historic Wayne Thomas Ranch to Kirker Pass Road and the proposed Sino Montreux development on the west. And you, you can see the, the yellow root of the, the proposal, but on both sides of it are giant areas of cuts and fills where grading is done because it's crossing one canyon after another, really steep hills, hills that are greater than 30% in, in steepness. Um, and this is really a very conservative idea of how much land would have to be graded in an attempt to make this stable. In fact, entire giant 500-foot hills would have to be removed in order to allow this uh, this project to go forward. The smaller lines that you see are, are six different stream drainages that, that the road project would cross um, and require that the, the streams be put into culverts um, to allow them to go underneath uh, this giant new project. This image is a map that we made that shows Black Diamond Mine south of Pittsburgh um, and uh, a whole bunch of of private parcels of land that have been acquired in recent years. In fact, the acquisitions are numbered, so you can see how they go step by step, um, creating an open space corridor between Mount Diablo State Park and Black Diamond Mines, and now nearly creating an open space corridor between Black Diamond Mines and the Concord Naval Weapons Station. Two other important things that you can see are the Thomas Home Ranch, number 14, um, is literally at the end of the proposed James Donlan extension. Uh, a proposed turning lane might, might go across it, and it is the urban limit line as well. Meanwhile, you can see red shaded areas which are owned by the Sino companies. Up in Nortonville Canyon, the Montreux Project on the left, the Sky Ranch uh, 2 Project uh, on the right. And the James Donlan extension would go from one Sino development across the historic Wayne Thomas Ranch to another Sino development. Um, what this really is, is a road that's designed to serve and encourage development for the Sino companies. This aerial photo of uh, the Wayne Thomas Ranch shows you at one point three possible alternatives for the James Donlan extension, three different uh, routes for it, although they all start at Sky Ranch 2, a Sino development on the east, and end up at the proposed Sino Montreux development on the west. What you can really see in this are the green hills um, and the, the brown stripes on the landscape are actually um, brown because the so soils are so shallow there, so rocky. Um, these, are, these are big, huge, rocky cliffs that they turn brown earlier in the season. The, the project starts on the west going through a canyon and then ends up coming out of the canyon, actually taking out a whole huge hill uh, as it emerges from the canyon directly below the words Wayne Thomas Ranch. Um, and then continuing a little bit to, uh, to the north to re-enter the Sky Ranch 2 development. That should give you a sense of how high it is on the hillsides and slopes above the existing neighborhood south of Buchanan, Suzanne Drive, etc. Um, these are going to be huge scars visible to all of Pittsburgh um, and an, an arterial road placed on the hillside up above existing neighborhoods who are going to hear all the noise from this road uh, where they right now back up to a a peaceful pastoral cattle ranch. Uh, and this project, have no doubt, will destroy the Wayne Thomas Ranch.